Hello everybody, it's Paul Neeson with the Real Life Health Show and I am telling you that health is more than just food. And I love the raw food diet, I love raw food. As a matter of fact, before I started eating raw food, I was clean shaven. And look at me now. See, because when you eat healthy and you live a natural life, your body will do the things it's supposed to do and that is to grow hair. Hair is there for a reason. And we have this crazy obsession with shaving. Go figure. It's a crazy obsession. Why do so many people desire to shave the places that our creator wants hair to be there and they try to add hair where he doesn't? It's an oxymoron world we're living in. Well, I tell men you're supposed to have a beard. A beard is going to help protect your face and it's going to help. That's the way we're designed to live, you know? Well, what about women? You know, there's something about... You know, he puts the, our creator puts the hair there, we take it away. He puts it there, we take it away. He puts it there, we take it away. Then we complain we don't have enough money for healthy food, but we go spend all our money on razor blades and shaving cream. What an oxymoron we're doing here. Well, I tell you this, you might be able to use olive oil instead of shaving cream, but to use a razor blade and put it against your body, you know, and destroy your hair and waxing and all these things aren't going to help the problem because you're still taking away what our creator wanted to be there. If you want to be healthy, you have to be hairy. Now, I know that's not going to go over well with too many of you, but if you have some hair and you understand the significance of hair and the benefit of the hair, it won't be a hairy situation. Well, I always talk about this and a lot of men have seen my videos and they've grown beards uh, or they let their beard grow because every man grows a beard. Uh, they, stop deciding, they stop deciding to destroy their beards after they hear my information. And now what about the women? Well, I remember I was telling, uh, I did a show once and I was saying that women, you know, they, you know, when you shave your underarm women, I interviewed a doctor and he said, when you shave your underarm, it contributes to thyroid issues and breast cancer. No, I'm not saying it causes it, I'm saying it contributes it to it. And you must think I'm crazy, but I tell you I am crazy because you are what you eat and I eat nuts. But we have a lady on the show today who's just one of a good amount of people that's on the show who realizes what living natural is all about. She stopped putting toxic chemical waste on her face, known as makeup. And if you want to wear makeup, there's wearing makeup and there's wearing makeup. If you go wear makeup in a way where we don't know you're wearing makeup, well, that's one thing. But when you wear makeup and you look like a clown from the circus, that's another thing. But regardless if you wear makeup or not, do you know that makeup uh, contains toxic, cancer-causing chemicals? You wouldn't eat lipstick, and you wouldn't put these other makes up in your body, and you wouldn't feel good if you did. Well, why put it on your face? You know when you put it on your body, it gets in your body through your skin? It clogs up your pores? We don't need to be doing these things. Well, enough about me. You might think, well, I'm crazy. Maybe a couple of men will let their beard grow after hearing this. Most won't. But... Will women actually stop shaving after hearing me? Do I have that much of an influence on this world where women will st actually stop going against society and stop shaving? Well, how come a woman will shave her legs and not her arms? Because that's the custom of today and that's what everyone's doing because most women are followers. I want you to be a leader, not a follower. Stop shaving. Yeah, that is crazy. I know, I know what you're thinking right now. Well, there are some people as crazy as me and there are some people as healthy as me. They desire to do what's natural. They desire to do what's right, the way it was meant to be. And they're not worried about what everyone's gonna think about them. They're gonna actually feel good and be healthy and let their body do what it was designed to do and stop going against it. And today on the show is one of those people, it's a guest, and we're gonna have her on the show and she is going to explain to you what many of you are probably thinking right now if you didn't turn me off by now, how crazy it is that I would even suggest that having hair on your body is healthy, normal, and natural. Well, when this lady first heard me, she probably thought I was crazy as every one of you. Well, maybe she didn't because she actually listened and she actually understood and prayed about it. And now we have this hairy lady on my show today. And uh, so we also uh, will take some comments and questions below the video if you agree with what this lady's doing, but you're not able to do it, or if you agree and you are able to do it, I want to hear about you. But if you have something negative to say, or you don't like it or agree with it, I don't want to hear about it because you're wrong. And don't put comments under here saying anything bad, 
or, or, or anything negative because I'm going to erase them and delete them. And I normally, unless you don't curse, I normally don't delete comments. But I don't want to hear your negative stuff about something that's so healthy and so right. You know, you might think it's so wrong because you're just a follower. Well, this girl's a leader. And she's not the only one. There are many women that contact me that have decided to stop destroying what our creator put there. So here she is now. Enjoy today's show. Hello, everybody. So here we are. So here's our guest today. Introduce yourself first. Hi, everyone. My name is Tasha Izaki. Okay. Now, tell us, uh, you first heard this message that was a bigger message, but part of the message was stop shaving. We have an obsession with shaving. Yes. So when you first heard it, as a woman, what did you think? Um, first thing I, I thought was, uh, well, that's a little crazy. <laughs> You know, how, how am I supposed to do that? You know, that's so difficult in today's society to, it sounds simple, but it's, it's very difficult with the pressures of society to do that. And when did it stop being crazy and stop being an idea in your mind like, wait a second, this might not be crazy after all? Um, about three months ago, it was on my, you know, when I first saw the show, it was on my, in my mind to do it, but I wasn't sure about it. And then a month later, it was on my heart and for the last three months I've just completely stopped shaving and, and stopped wearing makeup and, and stopped putting all these toxic chemicals on my body using shampoos that are actually made of, of plants and things I can read and know of and exist and, and so on and so forth. Now physically do you feel better since you've been doing this? Yes, yes. Um, you know I used to have I had razor bumps on the back of my my thighs for probably about 10 years because we start shaving so early in this society and no one ever told me that if you simply stop shaving it goes away and in three months all the razor bumps went away and I've had so many other things like that that just changed. Oh, and now what about the reaction you get from people that know you're doing this because you're not walking around in a bikini showing people you know oh, I got hair on my legs now and you're not doing that but people that you tell you're not shaving what's their reaction? Uh, you're out there. You're crazy. I, you know, maybe it's one thing not to shave your legs, but then your underarms. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. You know, you, you should go live in France or something. Why in France they don't shave their underarms, right? That's what they say. I have no idea. <laughs> now, now, uh, what about the reaction from people that are close to you, not just the average person out there? Uh, your your husband. What does he say about this? Uh, my husband's all for it. He's been very supportive and actually I don't think I could have done it without him because it's one thing that when everyone else is saying you're crazy but if my husband was and he wasn't for it I don't know if I could have been able to do it. It would have been much harder. And uh, let, let, as a matter of fact let's get your husband on camera here and, uh, and, and let's see what he has to say because most husbands won't think this is a, a normal idea. So okay uh, what's your name? My name's Steve Izaki. Uh, okay, Steve, so tell us, uh, uh, did your wife tell you, oh, I'm going to just stop shaving? Did she surprise you? Did she just not say anything? When well, did you actually notice? Um, well, we actually uh, heard, heard the, your, your same uh, uh, speech that same day, so um, I knew what, was, what she was hearing, and uh, I knew what her reactions were, so I, I knew it was coming, but um, it doesn't didn't really make a difference to me because uh, I love my wife and I love everything about her and I love how um, <clears throat> how she was uh, created how she was um, how she was made so um, yeah I'm for it and uh, it's cute. <laughs> Do you have any issue out there telling people my wife doesn't shave? No, no, no issue. And what about you? You were clean shaven when you heard this message, right? <laughs> I was. Uh, I had a little bit, but um, but I, I I went along and just uh, I just let it, let it grow. Wonderful. So, the either one of you, uh, either one of you, want to say anything about this to the people out there that are listening that might think this is just a crazy idea? Um, I, I think I have to say that um, you need to ask yourself who created the standard for beauty, because in every part of the world, the standard for beauty is 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 different. But there is something you see that that is the same. You know, long hair on women is beautiful. Um, a dress on a woman, a long dress on a woman is beautiful. So there are some things that are the same and I think you need to ask yourself who is putting pressure on you to do this and, and why are you doing this? I mean, I used to wear more makeup, I had more acne, I had razor bumps in the back of my leg, I had acne behind my arms and it just goes on and on and on and I spent so much time and effort 
trying to to come to this standard that society sets and for and for what I think you need to ask yourself that because I, I save so much time now I feel so healthy um, I don't have all these problems no one ever told me if you just stop shaving it goes away and no one tells you that oh heaven forbid you shave or don't shave um, so I think you need to ask yourself that and, and stop feeling pressured by everyone around you because that's a rat race and I think we all need to get out of the rat race of just what the society says is beautiful is beautiful so we got to starve ourselves and keep shaving it and I, I don't agree with that I don't ourselves. sure and I imagine a lot of women that are looking to go to the beach in a, in a skimpy bikini every day those are the people that would really be grossed out by an idea like this but Think about what they're doing. They're going to the beach naked on a daily basis. And uh, if that's the type of person you are, maybe this isn't for you. In fact, this isn't for you if you're the type of person that likes to walk around naked. But if you like to walk around with clothes on, there's uh, nothing wrong with this, right? And actually, just to go along with that point, you know, not shaving at all, I kind of stopped wearing bikinis because I couldn't see myself walking around looking the way I did. But at the same time, it made me wonder, you know, if I'm not going to go out in my underwear and bra, why would I go out in a bikini? I don't know. It's kind of out bad. there. She doesn't look bad. And as, as the husband, I mean, do you feel better that your, your wife's not walking around naked anymore for the world to see her? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, it great. More, more special to me. Uh, very good. Very good. So uh, either one of you, thank you for being on the show, both of you, and uh, thank you. Anything else before? Do you have a website or a blog if people have questions or no? Um, well, we have, our, we have our Facebook pages. Yeah, okay. you, can, you can come to our Facebook pages. I don't mind questions. Just like Paul said, please, no negative comments. You know, if it's not something you agree with, I understand. I don't want to know, though. If you have a question, though, or if something you want to know, then by all means, um, message me. Don't put it on my status because I don't want the whole world, you know, maybe not the whole world just yet knowing, but message me. My name is Tasha, T-A-S-H-A, -A, last name Izaki, E-Z-A-K-I. Well, thank you both very much for being on the show, and it's uh, great to have you here. All right, everybody. There it was. We're pushing the envelope here. We're, you know, creating a hairy situation. We understand, but... You know, if you want to be healthy, you want to be natural, this is just one of the many people that are realizing that there's a way to live, there's a way to be. And I could tell you, everybody, when I stopped shaving my legs, I stopped wearing a bikini also. No, 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 just kidding, just kidding. I didn't stop wearing a bikini, I still do, but only in the privacy of my own home. If you have any problems with that, just Facebook me. No, 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 no. I don't wear a bikini, I don't shave my legs, I don't follow the world standing of what they think beauty is. I just live natural and I let my body be the way it's supposed to be according to my creator and I eat the foods he gave me to eat. That's what I do, that's how I do it. If you have any comments or questions, positive comments or questions, with enthusiasm, post them below the video. Until then everybody, thank you very much. Have a great day and a great hairy raw life. Brighten up your life